What's up everyone, Chrono here today playing some Warhammer Quest. If you enjoy the video, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe, share, support if you're so inclined, because all of that little stuff helps us out a lot. So this game isn't necessarily a new game, I think it's been on Steam for a couple of years now actually, but I saw it pop up in the list of upcoming games that were about to be released, and from what I understand, it's about to release for the Xbox One and the PS4 with uh, better controller support. So I thought I'd grab it and check it out and see what it was, what it was about because it looked really cool and I had never played it. Uh, and I've played through the first couple quests and I really enjoyed it. So it's basically based off of, from what I understand, a top-down, um, well it's a top-down game obviously as you can see, but it's based off of a board game by the same name. And I honestly wished I would have played the board game. I really enjoy board games, but I don't get to play them a lot because it's just you know time constraints with other people. But so far I've played around with it. It's pretty fun. And I mean, basically you can move your characters around here. And he walks in, opens up this next room. And a lot of times when you go through these arrows, an encounter will happen. So nothing happened that time. And like a lot of these types of games, you you move since it's you know a turn-based game. You move after you attack, you can't move again, so you have to watch that. You if you don't move and you attack, then you're kind of stuck. But um, yes, yeah, so these guys have all taken their turn. Oh, I can spin the board around. So I, I've done all my moves. There were no enemies to fight, so I end my turn. And the mage has regenerated three magic power. So you can see as I'm progressing through the level here, these arrows indicate the next room that I can travel to. And I've learned to be careful because if I step in this area right here, right now with this guy, that room is going to open up and I may be kind of stuck if I don't have my other party members in place to help combat anything that may arise. And you can move them at the same time. So after I'm done moving, you click anywhere and then click end turn. And let's get our mage in place. Move him. Now let's step him here. Here we go. We're attacked by critters. <laughs> giant bat. So you can see I got four giant bats down here to fight and the next room is this way so my dwarf can move down here I'm gonna just step him right in the middle of all these guys and double click this one to attack and he misses you come down here and you attack this one and he smushed it my wizard can't move that far and I don't know if he's got enough magic Nope, he doesn't have enough magic to do anything. What's that warp I might do? Consumable power store. Oh, okay, so I can consume the orb of might to get magic, which I'm not going to do that yet. I mean, these guys are nothing, so I'm not worried about it because my um my archer here. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep right clicking and doing that. I don't mean to. He can't hit anything that's highlighted in orange, so I'm going to knock this guy out. Ah, he hit him twice. Nice. So that's the end of that turn. And now it's the monster's turns. Gosh, those things actually hurt. And there's all kinds of other different things. Like right now he's pinned because he has two enemies beside of him at the start of his turn. And then this guy, you can click and hold and you can see their different stats. Um, but he also will ber uh, berserk at the beginning of each turn. And if he can't control himself, he just kind of goes nuts and, and hits stuff. So there's all kinds of little things that happen in between. Uh, they have different chances to do things. And they can even pray to their deities when they're in town for uh, blessings whenever they go into a dungeon. So that was a death blow, so he gets to hit for... Uh, another uh, attack. So here we go. We cleared the room. Uh, we 
get some loot. So we've got uh, heals one to six takes whole turn. We add that to our stash or you can discard it. So let's go ahead and move our wizard buddy down here. Actually, you move here. And then you move here. And we will end the turn there. So, I want to eat that food. This is here, so let's put that in his common items. So you can see your inventory. You have the main inventory, which is shared between all your characters, and then you can put inventory on specific characters. So here you can see I've got a uh, healing potion, so I can drop that up there. Uh, this is potion of quickness plus two movement. I guess I could have sorted all of these out. You, I can give you this potion of quickness, for example. And you, I can give you potion of strength. And you, a healing potion. Let's see, where did you... Let's give you... Okay, I'll give you... So I'll keep one of these in reserve. So, after we do that, I can go and click on his inventory. And I can use this potion of healing, for example. I'm going to wait, though, and end my turn. Or can I only use that? Stone bread there. So you have to actually click on who you're going to do it with. Well, that didn't do much, did it? So let's put you here. And you here. Oh wait, that's, now we end the turn. Okay, so that healed two of his wounds. Man, we need... I may need to eat another one of those. Put that back in his inventory. You go ahead and move here. Let's just get everyone into position here for the next round. Can you bandage him? You can. Awesome. So there we go. No, don't move. Now, let's step into this next room. And nothing there. So you move here. You move here. You here. And you here. Now, I don't know if there are traps or anything to worry about just yet. I haven't seen any so far, but this is, again, only my second dungeon. Third, if you count the tutorial, but I don't really count it as, uh, as the main dungeon. So. Here we go. Snotlings. Lovely. And you can attack diagonally. Man, I hate that this camera keeps rotating. And I don't have enough movement spaces for him. Go ahead and move you up. And let's have you shoot the farthest one back. And bricked it. Now, do you have any magic? I'm going to save your magic regardless. Yeah, he missed. You missed too. Thank you. You missed too. Please miss. Thank you. Now see, he berserked right there. And he didn't lose control, so he just gets a bonus, but he's pinned. So, smack. And when you're pinned, you can't move. Oh, we got a death blow too. Holy crap! Go for it, dude! And we got an elven sword. Add the stash. Man, he just wrecked it. Let's go ahead and get these guys lined up. You move here. You just move here. That was just awesome. Let's just go ahead and end the turn. That way I've got full movement next round. Zombies. 
Man, he's right there at the door, too. Holy crap. There's six. I'm glad I came into this with full health. For the most part, anyway. You need to do what you did again last time, dude. That was awesome. Oh, you killed one. I'll take it. You shoot him. Missed. And I'll come up here and melee with the wizard. Yeah, I'll take it. And he is at... Uh, five magic. Do you have a cap on magic? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if he has a cap or not. He's at five. And his best spell... Uh, this is what I'm looking for. His best spell takes five magic. Let's try it. Let's shoot you. Oh, that's an area of effect. I should have shot it at the back. That's okay. Yay, they're ambling, so they're not very fast. He's going to get a smack, though. Come on, do what you did last time. Actually, you hit him. Because that'll be a weaker hit. And then we'll give... Oh, he's pinned. And he missed. Awesome. Ah, crap. So, I think that's all of our turns. Alright. So let's try this. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, he got them both. Awesome. Lesser scroll of protection. And now we can go two ways. Hmm. Let's go to... Let's go to the up. Let's see what happens. That's as far as he can go. Let's see, do you have any healing items on you? Nope. And I don't want to use that. Yeah, I don't want to use that push on strength yet, obviously. So, do you have any bandages? Potion of healing. We'll save that. Get these guys a little closer. Oh, that's all I can do. Alright, let's just end the turn. Hmm. Looks like a dead end. I wonder if there's anything in here to find. I'm going to leave these two guys down here. Let's just end the turn. Oh no, there's a door right there. guys up here. I didn't see those up arrows. I wonder if they were hidden. I'm bad not to see things, so it's it's possible they were there and I just didn't see them. Alright. up here. That's another pathway. Makes me wonder if I should... I'm going to go down here and check this other one before I go up.
So let's see here, 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 there. I may be backtracking unnecessarily, but I'm curious now. Let's put you here. And here. All right. And you go here. You go here. All right. Hopefully this is something cool or uh, we can turn around, but we'll see. And it's another pathway down. Oh, this is interesting, though. Can you move anymore? Nope. So let's just get you guys all lined up. You can do a lot of stuff in town too, and even when you're sitting idle in town, things will happen. Like, I, was, I saw a message pop up that my guy spent too much money in the tavern. It was hilarious. And all I was doing was just sitting around navigating through the menus trying to learn them. And here dude is getting drunk and spending too much money. Maybe on beer and winches. Who knows? But it was it was great. Alright, so we got bats again. So I'm going to put you back down here because you may go crazy again. That would be awesome. And he breaks it. Alright, you hit him. You get down here and smack this one. Excellent. And you shoot that one. Nailed it. All right. So let's end the turn. Oh no! That's my first death. Let's see, do you have anything cool that you can hit them with? Nope. So you come down here and hit this one. I hope death isn't permanent. I hope I can like resurrect him at a temple or something. And then you shoot him. Potion of Battle. So what can we do with you? Nothing. Can anybody heal him? Potion of Healing. Oh, please work. Awesome! Awesome. That is epic. You don't have to have special res potions or anything. Alright, so... I guess we need to end our turn. And get him lined up for the next room. And you lined up for the next room. Doing this dungeon makes me realize, though, even though I did stock up on some supplies, I probably should have gotten more. Let me look at my inventory here. Do I have another potion to give to you? Let's see, what do you have there? That's the potion of strength. And that's the potion of battle plus one melee attacks. So let's give you this one and let's give you that one. And what is this? Plus three toughness. Scroll of protection. Uh, let's give that to our dwarf. There we go. And you drink this potion of healing. Go up, go up, go up, go up. You okay, we need to end our turn. Alright, so let's sally forth. Rescue the jester. Your warriors enter what appears to be some kind of ad hoc dungeon prison. They see at the back of the room a cage within it and someone motionless. The warriors are unable to determine the condition of the prisoner or if it is the jester. 
Before they can investigate, you are surrounded by enemies. Dun dun dun. So what do we got here? Oh, we can zoom out too. Is there anyone behind us? No. So we got one, two, three, four. I'm glad I'm not technically surrounded. Night Goblin, Night Goblin boss, which means you die first. So let's position you here. Take a swing. Nice. You next. Smack him. Smack him. Awesome. And do we have... He's got four magic. We can do healing mist. Which I should have thought to do that earlier. Hindsight 2020. It's okay, we're still new. So let's go ahead and... Can you move anymore? No, we'll end our turn. And we should get enough magic on the next round to cast something cool. Reaver bow. What does that do? 11 to 13 damage once per dungeon. The wielder may fire multi shot striking their target and another nearby enemy line of sight. Uh, why can't we do that? Maybe he already did it. Alright, well, anyway, it's not giving me the option, so let's just end the turn and finish this up. Ouch. Good. You missed. And you, you need to miss, too. Berserk. Oh, come on, dude. Do your thing. Do your thing. You didn't do your thing. It's okay, your buddy take took care of it for you. <laughs> Come on, get him. Excellent. Alright, so rescue the jester. After your warriors slay the remnants of the beast, they quickly rush over to the body in the small cell. They quickly identify that it is indeed the jester. Kaizik Shieldbreaker bashes the primitive cell lock and clumsily rips the door off its hinges. The motionless body in the cell suddenly springs up to life and sits up. Oh, thank you. I've been stuck in the cell for days and I thought I'd never see light again. My name is Patrice Gerstorfer and I'm a jester for the Viscount of the settlement nearby. Patrice Gerstorfer springs to his feet. He seems to be completely unhurt, which is a miracle given the circumstances. Quest completed. We are victorious. And they level up at the end of each dungeon. It shows you how many of each thing they killed. He's ready for training so we can go learn some new skills once we get back to town. So, oh, we've unlocked a new town to travel to. New settlement discovered. So let's go back here. We'll travel. We're up to, we're at 766 gold. We had a main quest line that we needed to do here too that I've not completed yet, so that's why I want to go back here. I, I can't help but think of Game of Thrones when I see that. And that the, the theme song just starts playing on my head. So, we can see that he is ready to level, level up. Um indicated by this orange arrow so we can go to the training grounds cost 200 gold to level up so let's level him up and he's now level 2 so we have weapon skill 4 now and mighty blow the iron breaker is able to trade in all of his remaining melee attacks for one potentially massive attack each attack the iron breaker gives up will multiply his strength awesome Wounds, uh, 11, that's hit points. And melee attacks, yes, too. So I'm assuming with this mighty blow, we could sacrifice doing two attacks for one really kick butt awesome attack. He's the only one that's, that's ready to level up right now. So once we're here, we can also go to the market. We can sell our spoils. Uh, there are some things that are just junk items that you can sell, or you can sell off the, the gear that you've 
uh, earned or previous gear that you purchased. Uh, you can buy your healing potion. Your adventurer's guild. Um, I think you can hire other adventurers here, but again, I've gotten several here that I think came from the DLC pack. I'm also using some really good weapons that were in the DLC pack. Um, then at the temple, you can pray and get a chance for a buff on your next adventure. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes they just say, you know what, you know, forget you. I'm not, I'm not going to bless you. And then you can go adventuring. If you go adventuring, um, this is the current main quest. I can select that or I can select side quest. So that's basically a, a, a look at the game and I've had a lot of fun with it so far. Again, there's a lot of idle stuff that happens in the background when you're in town, all kinds of funny things. But I thought it was pretty cool. Hope that you guys might like to see it too. And again, from what I understand, it's going to hit Xbox One and PS4, I think today or tomorrow. It's going to hit really, really soon. And it's been on Steam for a couple of years. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, share if you haven't already. And if you want to help support the channel, check my support options in the video description. Uh, and I, again, I want to say that I really appreciate everyone watching the video. Your support's very helpful. It, it, I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. So with that, hope to see you guys in the next one.